Hi learners, welcome. In this video, I am going to explain a simple trick to uh, find hybridization of a given molecule. So generally, hybridization means uh, we will talk about central atom. Uh, based on that, I am going to uh, give two different concepts here. One is if your molecule is having single central atom, we have to follow one method. And when there are more than one central atoms, then we have to follow in a different way. Let's begin with a single central atom. Uh, okay, I am going to give a simple formula to find uh, hybridization that is so uh, here you are going to get the number hybridization number so hybridization number can be determined by using a simple formula v plus m minus c plus a whole divided by 2 let me tell you here what is h means hybridization number where v is valency number of valency electrons of central atom m is number of mono atomic atoms c is charge of the uh, cation cationic charge a is anionic charge okay charge on the anion so if you know this uh, you can simply understand what is vmca and if hybridization number is 2 then uh, hybridization type is sp if it is 3 then we have to write it as sp2 if it is 4 sp3 if it is 5 sp3 d if it is 6 sp3 d okay you remember this you know vesper theory and types of hybridizations okay now let's see with one example i will explain this let's take H2SO4 sulfuric acid. Here central atom is what is the central atom in this? Central atom is sulfur. Okay. And sulfur belongs to 16th group. Okay, am I right? 16th group. So number of valence of electrons means V. How many valence electrons will be there for this uh, sulfur? There will be 6 electrons. Okay, 6 valence electrons next what else we have to know we have to determine m so how many monoatomic atoms we have hydrogen is a mono um, i mean it can bind through a single bond okay so m is 2 the number of atoms which can bind through a single bond m okay next is what else we have in this is there any cationic charge no is there any anionic charge no because it's a molecule so how can we write the hybridization how can we find hybridization number here v is 6 m is 2 and there is no cationic charge and ionic charge so it divided by 2 that is equal to 8 divided by 2 that equal to 4 means in this case 4 means what hybridization sp3 therefore as sulfur and what is the hybridization sp3 it undergoes sp3 hybridization similarly uh, one more molecule i will take here you take p o 4 3 minus one more example so here what is the central atom central atom is phosphorus central atom is phosphorus so phosphorus is 15th group how many electrons will be there in valence electrons 5 so v is equal to 5 is there any mono uh, atomic atom in this no is there any cationic charge no is there any anionic charge yes what is that 3 just write the number is fine now you just find hybridization number h is equal to v means 5 no monoatomic so but anion means you need to add see the formula you need to add plus 3 divided by 2 that equal to 4 
so 4 means again what hybridization sp3 hybridization so here it also undergoes sp3 hybridization next if there are more than one at central atom example you take dinitrogen pentoxide and 2 5 here two uh, atoms are there then what you have to do is how many number of central atoms do you have those many additional electrons you need to add okay so here central atom is nitrogen how many nitrogens two nitrogens are there each nitrogen will give five electrons so two atoms five electrons as well as how many number we have two so total you need to write five plus five ten plus two twelve okay so what else we uh, is there any mono atomic gas no is there any charge cationic or anionic charge no so substitute this in this equation hybridization is number equal to 12 divided by 2 that equal to 6 but how many atoms we have two atoms we have so the result should be divided with number of atoms that equal to 3 means here each nitrogen undergoes 3 means sp2 hybridization it undergoes sp2 hybridization understand guys in this way you can find hybridization of any type of molecules like you can find p4 o10 how many uh, central atom is phosphorus and how many phosphorus we have four so each phosphorus can give five electrons four fives are 20 plus how many atoms we have four so 24 total substitute in the equation hybridization number equal to one more example i'm explaining hybridization number equal to 24 divided by because there is and there and we don't have any monoatomic gas or charges on this so 24 divided by 2 that equal to 12 but how many atoms we have 4 you have to divide with 4 that equal to 3 so 3 means each phosphorus will undergo sp3 hybridization understand this so in this way you can find uh, hybridization of any type of molecule thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel